Well, it has been a busy start to the new year in Washington, especially on Capitol Hill, with members of Congress working as a government, possible government shutdown is looming. And joining us now here at WCTV Studios is North Florida Congressman Neil Dunn. Congressman Dunn, thank you very much for joining us today. It's great to be with you, Zach. And uh, first, we'll get to that, uh, talks about that on Capitol Hill in a moment. But first, we want to talk about, since now we're in the new year, uh, it has been about a few months since Hurricane Adalia uh, made landfall and left widespread impacts all throughout the Big Bend, especially in Taylor County. Right. Um, what do you make of the damage a few months later, and where are relief efforts now at this point? So it's always it's always a... a, a there's these remnants of damage that you're trying to pick up after a hurricane I've discovered uh, through a long process now with hurricanes. And um, uh, Adalia fortunately didn't uh, do as much damage as Michael did. Having said that, it left a lot of wreckage behind it. <clears throat> and we're still working on some of the problems with FEMA to help us get some of that uh, debris uh, picked up. And we're also doing an after action report to see what we might be able to improve on uh, the next time. But between Taylor and Madison County, most of the damage uh, to our district fell there. Now moving towards uh, what's been arguably one of the big stories on Capitol Hill is the talks of a possible government shutdown. We're coming up now on the first of two deadlines. Uh, where do you stand amongst all this? Uh, so I, I, nobody, nobody in their right mind wants a shutdown. I mean, this, this, this is not a way to run a government, certainly not the most important government of the world. And, uh, and we, the House has already passed in excess of 90 percent of all of the funding that we have to pass in appropriations. And push, we need to push that over the Senate. So the House has actually done a fairly good job of appropriation. Should have been done by the end of September. It never is. The last time it was done by the end of September was in 1994. But uh, we, 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 we've got 90% of the funds appropriated. We know where all that should be, according to the House. The, the Senate needs to pick it up at this point. And, and you know, there's always tussling and fighting about those top line, bottom line numbers. We're trying to save money. Other people aren't trying to save money. Uh, but uh, it's important that we fund the military, you know, and fund the government, fund all these other things that we absolutely have to do. And how do you assess uh, House Speaker Johnson uh, throughout this whole process? So he's a great guy. I've known him since day one. Uh, he's my classmate. We came in together. And uh, he's a very, very sharp uh, constitutional attorney. Very, very keen idea of what the constitutional uh, uh, process is and what we should be doing, what we have to do, what, what's our responsibility to do. And he actually is very, very sharp. He makes great negotiations, uh, great decisions. Thoroughly civil gentleman. N nobody has any reason to complain about this guy. He's he's very organized. I'm happy to have him as uh, a speaker. Proud of him. And what is your message too? Because there may be some um, of your constituents that uh, may be very concerned about a possible government shutdown as they we get be. close to the to the deadlines. Uh, what is your message uh, to to those folks here in the Big Bend who are? concerned well, so about that possibility. Mike Johnson, the Speaker Johnson, actually made negotiated a great deal. I mean, it, is it a perfect deal? No. Did he get everything he wants? No. But we only have a two-vote majority in the House and a minority in the Senate. And by the way, we don't control the White House, last I looked. So, um, you know, that's he, to negotiate a, a compromise from that position is, is really pretty uh, Pretty comp great accomplishment. You have to give it to them. Uh, you know, it saves a lot of money. It peels ten billion, another ten billion dollars off the IRS. So, uh, so that's twenty billion total off of the president's request. Uh, we did fund the military, give them a pay raise. We uh, we've got some very very important uh, appropriation dollars in there to keep the military funded for the things that it has a lot of things to do around the world right now, uh, and also Tyndall Air Force Base. Uh, got its uh, $300 million to continue. It's uh, ramping up and putting in a whole new wing of uh, F-35s. All right. Well, we'll definitely uh, be looking forward to staying on top of the developments out of Washington uh, in the next several days. Congressman Neil Dunn, thank you so much for joining us here at WCTV. Always happy to see you, Zach.